I find it interesting, although I probably should just go to reason why I am recording this video, but still I find it fascinating that after I posted this morning article related to the alternative for Germany, uh, I find it quite as a challenging, bizarre to note on Yahoo to have appeared articles which suggests, which question Fauci is response in respect to COVID-19 origins. And here I see if Trump returns to White House, what will happen to the U.S.? The issue of Trump surfaced immediately after I posted the, this article here, which I have dedicated to the Serbian family here from the city of the Novo Mesto, in particular to this girl and to her brother Boyan, um, to the blonde whose family was involved in MK Ultra since I was a child, since I was a baby. Literally, since I was a baby, our neighbors in the city of the Novo Mans, the Chertalich family, was involved in MK Ultra since I was a baby. Melissa, a mother, uh, Boyan is a older son. I don't know how much she's older. Boyan is older than myself, maybe 10 years. For you to understand precisely what I am talking about, you should just watch this video here. Uh, the part number one is like the main video, this one here. It's it really, really brought uh, memories, a lot of memories. And it's when I am discussing the people uh such as my niece's husband who literally built with my niece's house right next door to a Chertalich and to an individual whose name is Peter Bukovic basically all in the same area and so where is this area what exactly I am talking about I'm talking about it's called Gurum Uh, this is a city of the Novo Mesto. Our house used to be here, right here. Just this here was our house here, right here. This. And their houses are just, as you go like this, uphill. You would turn probably, I don't know, uh, in one of these streets here. I don't go here. I don't want to go here. I got no business to be around here. Uh... In this area here, yeah, I just basically maybe two, three blocks away from our house uphill, which this area here is located, or what is it, a little further here, should be here. This is where you go. And these are their houses. These are the properties that you see right there, right in front of you. Uh, if you would go... This is this area of the house uh, of the city of the Novo Mesa right here. So this would be like something like this, like three blocks up from our house, something like this. 
probably this here, Adamich over here, something where it says apartment, whatever, gal, whatever. Uh, probably, I don't know, in this area. So this is right in front of the school also, which I used to attend. Uh, that would be like, mm, actually, that's more. It's still higher up. This is the school which I attended, like a grammar school. So this is, yeah, in this area. So you see this yellow DHL. All right, maybe four blocks. All right, so this would be like. So this would basically, this would be distance, yeah. You're talking about uh, 400 meters. Oh, I don't know, 500 yards or something like that. Four blocks, just as I stated, 400 meters from our house. Um, this is what this people embedded themselves. already a long time ago before i was even born so i don't i am not going to go into bokovets and so on but this is where my niece also built her place in this area here next to them uh a house whatever the house is i don't want to know i don't want to be there i don't want to have nothing to do with it uh this is just something that will have to be ransacked through the police investigation. These people have a whole lot to explain because this Chertalich family, as I explained uh, in this video here, was the main family, family through which Serbs ran genocide against me in Slovenia. This is a local, extremely wealthy family behind which a local police department have uh, positioned itself uh, as well as psychiatry as well as um, even more important so local employment office uh, local state employment office you know state employment office in Slovenia is absolutely everything you you can go past a lot of things but when it comes to employment, this is just the source of your income, your existence. You can't go past that one. And the employment office, the way this crime was enforced, is located somewhere right in between this here. The employment office was actually located right here, this place here, just maybe 50 meters away from our house. This here was employment office. This is a state employment office here. It's called Dino Eight. See this? And so the way this crime was run next to the school. Now I'm not done with this stuff yet. No. And it's got uh, everything to do with Donald Trump. Unfortunately, it's got to do with the IFD, and unfortunately it's got to do also with Farage, and unfortunately it's got to do with the cyber politic, because these are the people that lean behind these criminals from the outside of Slovenian state, and they started to support extermination procedure, genocide against me personally, externally. They hunted me through the U.S. Congress, through American presidents, after I immigrated even in the United States of America. Now, unfortunately, this is the stuff that does not stop here. Uh, this Piovra, I don't know how you would... Piovra is... Um, in Italian language...
It's a good movie. Good, vi vi good video. Octopus, if translated from Italian language. About the mafia, how the mafia works. This nightmare that Donald Trump continued against me from the United States of America together with the British Royals turned into the worst of the worst nightmare one possibly could imagine is possible to exist. Literally deputizing psychiatry to play with my life, literally like truly like I'm a rabbit, like I don't actually exist in this world. Through employment, through the, the right to employment, play with a hope for as long as I relied even on a hope. Uh, destroyed absolutely entire family, infested everything with death, absolutely everything around me. And we're doing nothing other than build enormous public audience participants uh, who did nothing but base their future and pass on cooperation, mutual cooperation and corruption. Examples from my case of corruption involved even people that would sing for the matrimonies throughout Slovenia. Uh, a couple, a young couple. I mean, I'm just saying this because this is so bizarre. Who would use me uh, to compel me into the flirt with the women? Um, flirt with future brides. Uh, create disagreements between me and between uh, coming husbands, husbands to be, and then demonstrate me like a miserable creature and make out of this ritual, as I explained, this type of ritual, uh, songs about how it's the misery is out there, but the luck, the happiness in the hands is in the hands of those that pursue one, gesturing young people, uh, couples, uh, how they must not allow anybody to meddle in their marriages and tell them about and so on. I mean, this is beyond insane, beyond bizarre case that this bizarro here managed to... Um, I am speechless, truly speechless, that this individual is not being taken in prison. Uh, a present American justice system, the way I see, the way they pursue one, uh, like a trials against Donald Trump, significates to me personally something as like ultimate humiliation, I would say. It's like Total, total humiliation and total derision for a torture which the U.S. government committed against me on behalf of this individual, on behalf of Putin, on behalf of these connections. Sickening stuff, beyond sickening stuff. I don't, I don't take uh, the American justice system at trials against Donald Trump. Uh, they are the most bizarre trials that I have never seen. They are super extensive. Uh, with Donald Trump literally expressing uh, a derision for these trials, because it appears to me that, and it appears to every specter, whoever watches this, it appears that this is just something that uh, can change completely in a single day. American news is so bipolar that in one day they demonstrate Donald Trump losing trial, uh, getting charged. Uh, the next day they demonstrate one uh, basically posing on a front page like nothing ever happened and questioning whether he could become an ex-president So, this, despite everything and so on. I've never seen anything so bizarre 
uh, and the trials are being used to shadow the reality about this case. They're, they are being used, American Supreme Justice, American justice system is using this fake trials. What is the fake trial? Yeah. Do you know what, like, for instance, um, the police investigator whom I have met the other day at police station asked me what MK Ultra is. This is the most bizarre question from somebody. I again received the same question claiming that they don't know what MK Ultra is. Um, I don't know what kind of crime Donald Trump committed. I had no idea what kind of tax crime, what kind of crimes Donald Trump have got himself involved in. But this type of crimes are not comparable with a crimes committed against American citizen, which involved directly torture, physical torture, kidnapping, hijacking, abductions, uh, forced psychiatry, even. Human experimentation, butcheries, poisoning of an individual. These are very serious charges. There are more charges than evading taxation. And the U.S. government, the U.S. Supreme Court is using taxation issues to shadow the issues that I stated. Human trafficking by, under any means, is not a joke. Just as blacklisting somebody through the U.S. government uh, compel him into a forced unemployment and use him basically to base your political campaign as a, you know, you use him like a bait, like you use like a, like a fishing bait, like a live bait for the sharks. So they bite. So you draw them to your table, do the business. 52 years of my life was destroyed like this. And American government, the U.S. Supreme Court continues to build this. They continue. They don't stop. They don't charge him. They shadow him. They protect him in absolutely every way possible. Uh, pretend they do some kind of trials that they are investigating something, like they are doing something because they're afraid that the case eventually is going to come out. But they don't want to do what they should have done. They're not charging him with anything. They're not charging him with kidnapping. They're not charging him with a torture, with a repeated kidnapping, with a torture, with extermination procedure. They're not charging him with any of that stuff. It's, it's like it's stuff they do, this kind of stuff here they do clearly. It's clearly that the bulks of these documents here that you see, they only serve to portray to public that something is going on, that they're doing, they're investigating, and so on and so forth. That's all there is to it. But American government, in reality, is like a cat on all four with the claws, like pushing away this case as much as possible, keep one in the shadow. As much as invisible as possible can also be seen from my YouTube channels with a three, four views, stuff like this, they continue to do with the blogger, the same thing, portraying like nobody knows anything about this case. This must be the most criminal government in the world. I don't know if any government in the world, in the history of the world, more criminal, more corrupt than the U.S. government. I actually question whether it's U.S. government that's more corrupt or British. At the same time, after I posted this issue here, which pertains to the AFD, and have gone as far with Hungarian Viktor Orban, Peter Sciarto, uh, even Angela Merkel, the politicians who are involved in it, to suggest issues. Now, these are the people that warn against the war, nuclear war against Russia. These are the people who warn against any kind of war against Russia. These are basically these are the people that support Russian war on Ukraine. On when you when I say to Ukraine, these are the people who support war on Eastern Europe, 
Hungarians uh, believe they are part of Western Europe and do not take any kind of uh, chance um, when it comes to the Russian war. It seems to me that Hungarians believe that they, they are part of the Germany or something like this, and as such, they are like um, untouchable. Even if the Russia would restore its borders of the Soviet Union, they would not feel any kind of consequences. This is basically, um, I don't know if this is how they feel, but this is the type of game they play. They want to continue to trade with the oil, with the Russian oil, with the Russian gas, while others will be paying basically foot the bill uh, for Hungarian politics. It's precisely what this is. They involved even what would be, it's, it's bizarre because if there is a German political party that advocates Vladimir Putin, they advocate Nazism, they advocate, um, the, the, well, yeah, I mean, they advocate Nazism. And that's not exactly a good uh, good issue to become politically correct issue. Literally through a very, very possible, even as I indicated, it's something they discussed, something they negotiated with Vladimir Putin during MK Ultra. A possible nuclear strike. more likely imitation of the nuclear strike done in Germany. Well, what could out of that imitation of this nuclear strike in Germany turn out to what city they started to discuss, which city they would sacrifice and stuff like this? Uh, suggesting we don't even think about talking about this kind of stuff. It doesn't even matter what city, really. What matters is that negotiation in respect to war on Ukraine during MK Ultra should never take place. It did take place. Ukraine lost a quarter of its land. The best of it, the best part of Ukraine. It shows not the loopholes, it doesn't show the holes, it doesn't show the flaws of the European defense politic or NATO defense politic. Uh, but it shows just how the entire Eastern view Europe is viewed as uh, through the eyes of people like Donald Trump, through the eyes of people like... Um, Whatever politicians out there that would like to trade uh, with foreign land, you know, do business like this, you know, um, obviously I did is one of them. Uh, Austrians uh, also have uh, alternative for Germany. However, their political party is uh, it's got a different name. It's got a different, I, I think it's like a Österreichish uh, Freiheit. I, I don't even know which, what, uh, what the political party is. Uh, but there was a bunch of these political parties that started to affiliate themselves with the Putin, doing stuff that um, just out of financial interests, uh, in this financial interest, they started to daydream about also other issues, it expanded into socioeconomic, uh, all sorts of issues, which their states, their countries, including Italy, uh, were using to sell weaponry to the Russia. You know, oh, it's just I've there, you know, I've there. No, 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 no. Uh, it, it's not. This is the thing. Uh, the same thing in Italy. You have this Liga Nord and so on. No, this is the thing. This is always the thing. In a democracy, uh, the political options only exist 
to hide behind these uh, political options, whatever interests uh, of the state. Some people call this a deep state, but this is not even deep. This is all coordinated with other Western countries, what they need, whatever they feel like. And they choose whatever political party they feel is the most suitable to do the filthy stuff. Uh, and in, in the case of the AFD, uh, even make one victorious. In either case, I mean, it's proven that AFD is the most powerful political option in Germany. A bit disappointing about this stuff. It's a bit disappointing. Uh, it has proven that AFD is the only political party in the Germany which can survive the nuclear strike on the Germany. Because just like uh, Viktor Orban, Hungarian Viktor Orban or Peter Sciarto, uh, they have positioned themselves into, into a role of somebody who doesn't want to have a war with the Germany, somebody who, uh, just like Marine Le Pen, let's say, uh, these are all the people that participated all the time inside of our house, but they were not the only politicians. They had many other politicians. They had all the politicians from all walks, from all grounds. And the thing is that AFD is completely, completely identical in its criminal ways with the German leftists. German leftists would just go over there and fuck the German state by giving out military secrets, absolutely everything to the Russia. This is the worst one, I think, that is out there. For that reason, you also have them directly affiliated with the Russian politicians. This is the most dangerous one of them all. The so-called leftists, the anarchists, uh, are actually really the one to fear. You know, as to when it comes to, to alternative for Germany, um, it's actually the most powerful political party that will have people dressed uh, as a as a Christian Democrats, whatever, into Merkels and other, you know, all kinds of uh, clowns. The same thing is in Italy. The same thing is in Austria. And do you have these people pose? And it makes like a circus that is difficult to see through. Uh, uh, but uh, and they will do dirty stuff because they want to be portrayed as somebody like a sympathizer, you know, like a deep sympathizer, like a deep admirer of the Russia. It's also the way for the state to give um, boost financial standings of certain political members or a certain group of people within the society. So you have to be sort of privileged to be at the top of the uh, AFD and so on. And behind this AFD, you have all kinds of, uh, you know, stuff going on. Uh, deals, uh, shady businesses, oil, gas type of stuff. You know, is enough that you get recommended. You don't have to be in any political party, but it's enough to get a strong recommendations from uh, AFD, and you can get a good deal for the gas, for the oil, for whatever from Russia. That's that's basically that's exactly how they operated with this stuff, and so it's it's um. um very, very bipolar politic, very shady politic. Uh, the thing is that I day is affiliated with the Nazism, with the Hitler, his past. Uh, and the thing about it is that IFD is created by the influx of the immigrants, by the literally by the immigration, which uh, you know, other political parties are being used for to force on entire Europe because Nazis, German Nazis believe that if you deliver a lot of immigrants throughout the Europe, that you distribute them, 
that you will raise the hatred with, through the YouTube videos we will portray in how the white woman is being attacked or a child raped uh, or wherever you will do you know it's uh, it will not be limited only to Germany but it also this type of mental disease will also spell into the Poland and it will spell into Ukraine and it will spell to Slovenia and uh, Bulgaria and Romania and so on. And before you know, you're going to have the whole Europe go high Hitler, you know. Um, Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia and all these countries that were searching for excuse in respect to immigrants which according to European law, they have to ac accept certain amount and number. They must press criminal charges instead uh, at the court uh, in the Brussels for inciting literally into a Nazism. This isn't about the hatred, but this is a German attempt to literally redistribute, force down throat people, uh, Nazi issues. Uh, the only political party in the Europe, uh, even, and it was not designed, this stuff is not a designed, it's not only in Europe, uh, after I posted this stuff here, uh, this stuff here today, uh, I, 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 I have to note, Donald Trump again started to, you know, what is it if Donald Trump returns to the White House? I don't know, but he was, I don't know what exactly was, what, what? I don't, I don't track anymore this stuff here because it's bizarre, because this is bizarre stuff, because it's, 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 this is bizarre. It's bizarre. This is crazy. This is bizarre stuff. It doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Um, one day ago, Donald Trump becomes the first president to be convicted. This is crazy. This is bizarre. And if he all the time of crime, etc., 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 he was not going to. You know, you are convicted when you serve the sentence, and you cannot be convicted for whatever. Till you're convicted for the gravest crime, for the crimes like I'm talking about. He was used by the U.S. government to do to me. Well, used, you know, he was, he was just sharp enough to convince American Central Intelligence Agency and Federal Bureau investigation. If he already had to do this, I don't know, because he acted like a freelancer in many ways, demonstrating to the U.S. government officials uh, U.S. Congress, his efficiency, his ability to penetrate uh, in a world of politics and have impact on one uh, to benefit for, you know, for the U.S. politics to benefit from within. So, you know, it goes, it goes, it goes one way or the other. So this is bizarre because, you know, you, you get convicted and then fails in his uh, appeal that you see. Almost, that you I'm going to say, same day, the, at the same time, you start again to flush. What the fuck is the conviction going to do if, you're gonna re if you question his return to the White House? I mean, how was this guy elected as a U.S. president anyhow? Uh, Republicans agree on Fauci over COVID-19 response. Fauci was against origins of COVID-19 as far as one originating from China. China did not create COVID-19, uh, but yes, uh, they did. American politics did extort the Chinese in respect to COVID-19, claiming that if they would continue to uh, drill into the China with the COVID-19 issues, that's what they claimed me during MK Ultra. They would eventually manage to convince China to step on the board with uh, on, a, on a neo-Nazi board, 
uh, giving a full scale support uh, for a politics such as this. The one of the IFD, uh, the one of the Lega Nord, let's say, in Italy, the one of uh, the Austrians, they call themselves, um, I don't know, Free Freiheit, I don't know how is it already. Far right freedom party, uh, uh, FPO. No one is FPO, but no, no, no. Uh, it's it, it, it modernized, you know. This is a freedom party of Austria and so on, you know. Um, uh, they uh, they developed they. Um, they developed, they, they diversified into other parts. They have these little political parties coming up throughout the Europe, uh, waking itself up. Uh, and all these political parties, uh, how can I say it with this to be to properly explain myself? They really have to be very with it. Um, they should not exist anywhere, these political parties, uh, because already in Austrian constitution, uh, just as in the German constitution, uh, the law clearly outlines that you cannot uh, engage in Nazism. Actually, anywhere in Europe, it's prohibited to engage in Nazism, to express any kind of support for the Nazis. And do you know this? This is not United States of America. And so we have like um, some sort of, um, uh, in German they say Missbrauch, uh, Zloraba, um, hmm, taking an advantage, abuse, yes, abuse of European constitutions, state laws, to degree that those would activate certain non-existing articles in their constitutions, which would allow them to compare or compete and compare with the one of United States of America, where such laws are regarded to the public as the laws that apply to the freedom of speech. There is no such law in side of the European Union, even I'm going to say, that would uh, advocate, protect. Um, A neo-Nazi uh, activities. In America, they call this um, uh, freedom of speech. The United States of America, a very, very exclusive country, uh, for some reason did not uh, accept same laws as those that apply to especially countries such as Germany, um, and have instead relied on police, uh, federal bureau investigations, uh, but also media in a big way, whom they have used to counter, rather counter, uh, these types of um, elements within the society with uh, arguments, with the counter-arguments, you know. But in Europe, uh, the laws were such that if you would engage in any kind of neo-Nazi movement, uh, if you would 
uh, you know, do what Donald Trump did, let's say, you would be very, very quickly, uh, uh, you know, uh, you would find yourself in a jail. It is just as simple as this. You would not carry on for too long. I don't know about the Britain, but British murdered, executed a lot of this Slovenian and Croat uh, Nazi collaborators during the World War II, as the war uh, ended in Austria. They they would just go and they would, uh, all these Nazi collaborators, they would, as soon as they would lay their guns down, once they escaped from the Balkans to Austria, they would return. They would arrest them and return them to Josip Brosita, to Yugoslavia, where they would be mostly killed, liquidated, with complete knowledge of the British as to what was to take place. Uh, really barbaric stuff. Uh, but, you know, these are just Eastern Europeans. So, uh, a normal thing to do, a normal procedure. Uh, they didn't give, uh, they didn't do this. Uh, well, yeah, well, in Germany, they also starved a lot of uh, German people during the World War II. They would, uh, they placed them into uh, concentration camps and open, and they also, you know, they also did that type of stuff. It's also a lot of people they killed like this. Uh, something I don't agree with, necessary. Uh, I am more for, you know, a civil courts and stuff like this, but during the World War II, the situation was such that so many of these people who committed war crimes that maybe it's why uh, they have selected this type of procedure. You know, I don't agree with this type of procedure, but that's precisely what took place. Uh, the laws are so evident, so clear, that nobody normal would even cross his mind to go and question them already, especially because of so many people killed, questioning any kind of laws, questioning any kinds of uh, decisions that the country made after the World War II would automatically result in, it would be a suicide. It would be dead, I mean, you know, a suicide, simply a suicide. The laws are so strict that if somebody from the government came to you and uh, told you um, you need to marry that girl right there or uh, we will get you killed, uh, you would go out there and marry her almost 100%. This is how the laws were. Uh, and or, uh, you know, this is basically the way this stuff ran, and it really didn't matter, you know, if they came to you and say, hey, you know, you know, you saw this land here that you have, all this, uh, we took away from you everything, uh, you're only going to have a little house left, and all the land and other houses, uh, uh, we're just going to give them to other people and so on. If you would dare to question this kind of issues, you would, uh, they would kill you. This is, how, this is how it was after the World War II, because of the hunger, because of the uh, also inequality and such issues. Um, you didn't have any kind of right to question anybody in Europe uh, about, uh, you know, decisions that government made. And uh, coming out with issues that you would use, that you would just go out there and you would question um, <sighs> I don't want to come out as uh, completely stupid now. Uh, lawless person, somebody who suggests that this is the way to do it or uh, you know, the law should not exist or something. I, 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 I don't want to come out stupid like this, but Donald Trump is a multi-billionaire. This is extremely wealthy person right there. And what he was doing is, 
he openly incited in war against the immigrants. He openly incited in uh, issues that suggested openly killing of the people, um, immigrants, killing of uh, uh, targeting certain population, certain portion of the population. Um, his wall issue, let's say, his wall issue was used for additional remarks that he made. It was not about the wall, but he was using the wall to agitate people, to, uh, to criminalize people that did not have criminal records or did not have any kind of justified um, Oftentimes, oftentimes, um, did not have any kind of justified record that uh, could be used uh, for one to go against them. He was, um, he started to, um, to create all kinds of um, challenging stereotyping. Um, like black community and Hispanic community, Latino community, um, minority community on general. Um, simply uh, issues that um, did not affect super billionaire Donald Trump in absolutely any way, his pocket. And he maliciously was doing this stuff for quite a several different reasons. To me, this individual, this criminal, maliciously suggested who will be doing this type of stuff for me to see what exactly I was asking uh, from American politicians in respect to minorities to be done with. Well, the thing is that uh, minorities heavily Minorities mostly were involved in torture. The one who performed most of the torture on me was black community, Hispanic community, and Asian community in the United States of America. As for the worldwide, 90% um, of the torture, with exception to Eastern Europe, like 80% of the torture was done through minorities, through the blacks, through the Asians, through... Um, through Latinos, yes, yes, this is just the bottom line, this is a fact. Um, I am not a super billionaire. I did not earn any interest uh, like the politicians, these politicians did. I am not fine. I am not from the Sverige Demokraterna. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, finally, it doesn't matter. I'm not uh, from what started to shine also now is Nigel Farage in Britain after I posted, uh, you know, after I posted the uh, article about alternative for Germany and about uh, Hungarian Viktor Orban. I, I, I just uh, not economically disadvantaged individual. You, you, you fall into the very, very special group when you have to use your life savings, which you gathered whenever you were allowed to work at the minimum $5 per hour wage. You got to be fucking kidding me. Now, I collected uh, from Slovenian state when it comes to the social support uh, since... Um, in my entire life, uh, I don't know, maybe 5,000 euros or something like that. 
I am 52 years old and was not allowed to work here in Slovenia. I had to immigrate because of people like Donald Trump and because of the British royals at my age 22 to the United States of America or be killed. This is not a joke. I am not, I'm not one of these people. I survived in Poland where I immigrated in 2018 uh, for two years, for three years, two years and a half. I survived on shit, eating starch, uh, flour and sugar to collect the money to get ahead of the game, to buy the car, to collect uh, uh, to collect the money for the car, for the rent and stuff like this and uh, save money like this. So they could use this kind of issues to uh, to destroy me. And I had to pay this with completely broken spine. This kind of stuff. I, I'm not coming. I, I, I collected the money in Poland through literally freezing inside of the garage without having any kind of heating system. Even anything to drink warm, literally. You don't understand what these people have done to me, these super billionaires, these kings and queens. I'm not from the same group of people. And honestly, I did fucking not know who the fuck is doing this stuff to me. Honestly, I was absorbed by the hatred which black people, Asian people, Latino community, and whatever minority was used in a process to get me killed systematically through the torture so that they would not be seen in London, so that Donald Trump would not be seen, so that, you know, Angela Merkel and all these uh, politically correct people would not be seen for who they were, because they were the one that hired, they paid for the torture. And I really did not know. I had no fucking had no clue who financed uh, uh, terror beating torture against me. I did not understood that it was actually Donald Trump and the company who did this stuff together with the Putin. Nowhere even remotely I understood the stuff about which I pointed out finally in this video here, under here where I apply, implied about uh, greater Serbian ethnic state right here in the city of the Novo Mesto. I don't fucking understood any any of these issues here. I did not, because it was torture was so intense that I was not allowed to think. Almost even in a real life, I responded to nothing other than jabs from uh, literally jabs from employment agencies. I worked uh, whenever I was allowed to work. Once I completed even the school, which is incredible, it's not much of it, but it's totally insane. If you would be my schoolmate, if you would be my friend, and you would have seen what went on with me in a grammar school and then in a high school, you would be shocked to learn that I managed to even complete the school for mechanical engineering technician just so that I would be told that I will always work for a minimum wage, jobs that apply only to the people, completely unskilled workforce such as people with a grammar school. Yeah, yeah, my background is completely different. I saw the fucking, you know, I told you about what kind of life I had. So, you know, um, I was groomed to be killed, not to leave or have family. They didn't groom me to have a family. I was groomed to be killed. I was groomed to be if I would not escape to the U.S. when I was 23 years old, 22, uh, I would end up inside of the institution for mentally disabled people and or already home for elderly people at age 22, 23. My life was not what... Uh, this is a big property from the father, yes? Uh, but inside of this property, there was only three by three meter room. That was my room. 
this was my life. That's what I spent most of my life. This is not, you know, with having absolutely everything destroyed, whatever I purchase within a day or two. This is not really for me that I could go and uh, compete uh, or compare myself, uh, you know, with the people like this or, you know, what became evident even as a... Uh, uh, as the poorest immigrants that would come to the United States of America from Mexico. People who did not even speak English or whatever. It became clearly that the type of the game that uh, Vladimir Putin exercised against me through the British royals and through the people like Donald Trump, through the U.S. Congress, through Republicans who finance violence against me, uh, in uh, within the black community, within the Latino community, within the Asian community, I was not out there to last in this world at all. So, you know, do not compare my remarks, as Donald Trump uh, suggested me, why he would do the stuff like this, with his uh, criminal deeds. Uh, luckily for me, I came to realize about uh, what the fuck went on. Uh, who did this stuff. Uh, but most of the people would never ever would come to anywhere even near to the clues uh, I managed to point out about who financed this type of, who financed crime against me in China. China. China was involved in Mount Everest of crime against me. Like super Mount, Mount, Mount Everest. You know, in respect to in respect to when it comes uh, to Fauci, you know, when it comes to Fauci. You know, Fauci is not going to brain fuck with my sanity. I am, I am making things clear about who did what did, but I'm not charging China with this stuff. China is disadvantaged country. China is a poor country. China is the country that is a country in development. This is the country, this is what they consider it as the third world country, given that today is 1995, which is not. Today is 2024, and China is one of the leading countries, leading economies around the world. He became a technological, especially superpower, more capable than the U.S. when it comes to industrial production. Still, still, however, it is very, very important for me to maintain my view on China. And I maintain my view on China because China offers to the world alternative to United States of America, or I should say United States of Jew America. Nothing is dirtier than Jew America. And if you watch my program, you realize that a Jew America not necessarily applies to the Jews but it places in the same category Germans with the Jews. Nothing is filtered than that. Already from the example that I have used right now to explain to you who financed torture, how this torture was done. Uh, when I said Jew, uh, German, sorry, I didn't mean German, I meant British, I meant, uh, you know, the Western countries, the systems, which are so miserable that supported exactly the same uh, as to what, you know, the type of Donald Trump system, basically, they lean them so behind to, uh, to do exactly the same extensive damage against me. This is swinery like the world have not seen yet anything like this yet. It's out of proportion. It's disgusting. It is totally bizarre. It's totally disgusting that you would go and you would cause harm to somebody like this. Uh, you know, 
Um, how what the fuck can I say? I mean, uh, this is this is the swinery at its finest. I mean, I haven't fucking seen anything like this yet. I mean, this is bizarre. This is totally, totally, totally bizarre. I am, I am in shock. Actually, I am in shock. I am in shock. China opposed to Putin and opposed to uh, United States of America. Hopefully, uh, presents uh, that second option because it's so miserable to note that the United States of America have fallen so low. The country that I supported so dearly, the country that I uh, advocated with the Germany, with the Italy, with the Spain, with the Britain, uh, advocated so dearly, uh, finally ended in, uh, in a private pocket of uh, Vladimir Putin. This is fucking incredible. You know? This is fucking incredible. This blonde here that you see here, this blonde never was blonde. This blonde was always a brown-haired girl. She had, like, brown hair, you know, like a darker brown hair. And supposedly that I was into uh, blonde girls, which I was during MK Ultra. Uh, I even preferred a clothing, a brighter white clothing. I even preferred... Uh, you know, uh, I I didn't like the streets that were not that were not properly, uh, you know, with the lights. You know, I I didn't like nights in particular during MK Ultra. You are not gonna go and match, compare yourself with me, and that's what unfortunately they do. My God, they fucking compare themselves. With me, they compare themselves with me during MK Ultra. They post uh, next to. Uh, in this case, is different. In this case, is completely different. I will explain. You know, I will explain this issue. But uh, you know, they had, they got themselves cars. They buy themselves houses. They buy them. They buy themselves. I don't know. Uh, you know, planes, you know, they buy themselves, I don't know what the fuck, you know, and companies and uh, build themselves hotels like Donald Trump did and, you know, put, uh, like, you know, idiot next to me, you know, uh, feel good about himself, you know, uh, go out there to the store like Mike Tyson did and buy himself a good clothing and stuff like this and, uh, you know, you will never have what I have and this and that, you know. And there was uh, everybody almost this, uh, talking about this uh, influencers, as they refer to them as, uh, they uh, they made this type of, uh, you know, attitude for the smaller people, for the smaller fish to follow, you know, their boots, you know. And the same type of, you know, ha ha, we have you, ha 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 ha, and there is nothing you can do, ha ha ha. Uh, and at the same time, you know, portray extermination procedure like some type of game. You know, toy is still alive, you know, toy is still alive, basically. You know, the toy is still alive, you know, it's only a game, you know. Um, this type of, uh, what they refer to, instead of uh, extermination procedure, they refer to this as, uh, even as a cancel culture. <laughs> Never heard about that kind of culture. I know, I know what, how extermination procedure works, sure. Um, you know, but I never heard about that cancel culture would be even used to shadow uh, somebody from being disallowed to get employment work and, you know, build future for himself. You know. Never heard for such a stuff. Uh, but they were extremely, extremely, um, they were extremely innovative. They were extremely,
they were totally, totally uh, innovative when it comes to all this stuff. I I was here. This this year, this was my home. This stuff here. This is where I was. This is what these wealthy people used to 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 exercise through the torture, through the beating, so much that uh, whether I didn't want to see myself in enemy anymore, I forgot just how much evil they directly were literally involved in. This girl was a fucking evil, like unprecedented evil was this here. This. She was not as evil as her brother Boyan was. But this girl was a fucking evil like you can possibly not imagine. You can possibly not imagine the fucking evil this was. She was evil till they started to feel. And it was the same thing with the neighbors here. It was the same thing with the Ul. It was the same thing with the Igor Kotar. With the people who directly tortured. Till... Violence in MK Ultra became so strong, so powerful, that I would start to, even way in between, in other words, started to see them like more approachable to me. So they regulated the views on survival, basically, through the, such an enormous amount of violence. So I, this shit here, basically, this stuff here that you see, uh, I would convict her to the 1,000 years of jail. I actually, preferably would have her hanged in the main square. Simple as this. Because it's not a human being. Sorry. This is a beast. It is next to Ferrari. It's funky. It's like this. But the crime that she committed together with her brother Boyan... And even what became, you know, they continue to drag this, but using their employees, like Yernay Chertalic did, son of the Boyan. Um, they just never really stopped. This is just a Gomorrah, basically. This is just a Piovra that just never, ever, ever stopped. We'll never forget the day when she stated to me, well, you know, uh, you don't like me. And so since you don't like me, and since because we are Serbs, because we are Milosevic, they all position themselves in a, in a, in a role of victims. It, 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 it didn't matter if, if their boss, if the head of the family, which just as I explained here in this video, it doesn't matter if this Joža Črtalic was... Since I was a baby, I'm not going to say he was like my father, but this was one of the people who would be more present in our family than, um, I mean, you know. Um, horror. This, this is supposed to be like a super family friend. I mean, but during MK Ultra, he compared me, he stated to me, I'm mentally ill. That I'm just a mentally ill, that I'm just mentally ill. So he 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 engaged in a violence since I was a child. Started to finally compare me as suggesting I'm mentally ill, and then started to flesh with his daughter. Uh, you know, I don't think it would uh, after even exploiting me most severely in his factory, um, stealing money from me big time together with his son Boyan. And then suggesting me that there will be nothing out of me ever if I don't get married with his daughter, Moitza, whom I have demonstrated you right there. Um, would you do this? Would you go and marry to the family like this? Would you want to have anything to do with it? I mean, uh, besides that, these people never came in my face. And uh, um, they created illusion for themselves through the video cameras, through the audio recordings, basically response from the tortured person which they were going to use in case they would ever need one 
for the court purposes, literally. These are not people. These are beasts. And they go straight into the home of Kremlin, basically straight into the Moscow and straight into the Belgrade. Straight, because they were taking straight orders from it. And their goal, their job was to present me as mentally sick, as mentally ill in my home environment as much as possible. In the United States of America, literally using exactly the same issues, Donald Trump did so by using his daughter Ivanka Trump. Again, another MPO sweetheart whom I have rejected and who stated just like the girl that you see here. Um, well, you know, I will I will change my hair. It will be blonde, just like the Western girls that you like. But you know what? I will kill you. I will get you killed. I will get you destroyed. And so it was. She became acquainted, talking about Ivanka Trump, with the extermination procedure from the girl that you see right there. Donald Trump became personal friend of the Serbs here in the city of the Norman. So she should paint her hair, make herself look like Western American. In other words, is Donald Trump wanted to see together with the Kushner, with the Kushners and with other American politicians become normal. It was it's normal for the people like this, like Donald Trump, it's normal when you when you post next to Ferrari and you have a blonde hair. Uh, it's normal. This is normal. This is normal. It's a very nice, very normal. We'll give you a kiss from the weekend or whatever house. And, you know, as they did this stuff, yeah, they would just allow them to stay whatever property they had. Make feel yourself at home and uh, everything fine, everything nice. And the favors would come in return. There would be market that opened uh, through the Bunga Bunga party in Italy. Uh, for this company, and uh, I don't know, in Germany, and uh, the cheap technology that otherwise not so easily affordable. Uh, it was a bunga bunga all over the place, you know. It, it turned out to be a beautiful fable. A nice, beautiful, healthy, bright smile, you know, a shining a relationship, a friendship, a super, super, super sick shit. Which resulted for me in the psychiatry. Literally. <laughs> uh, the type of special relationship that grew more and more and more and have eventually ended the 52 years of my life turning me eventually against the entire world, acknowledging me as a neo-Nazi. How the fuck do you acknowledge somebody like this as a neo-Nazi? By the way, there is not a single crime I committed in the United States of America that would suggest that I was charged with a hate crime or anything like this. I never did. But it's the stuff they started to create through the torture, through MKUltra, which is totally illegal the most criminal, the, this is the most criminal, this is the biggest crime you can do, it's worse. Listen, it involves a hijacking, human trafficking, physical torture, death threats, stuff 24-7. Sleep deprivation, poisoning of person, all these issues don't fucking count. Stabbing with the needles, they don't count. Physical violence, punching. This stuff doesn't count? Yeah, well, if this stuff doesn't count, then the United States of America should just make it clear that, you know, in the U.S. there are no laws, that the Constitution is a declaration and the Bill of Rights is just 
paper on the wall, which in my case always wore, both of them. I'm not done with this kind of, uh, you know, so much abuse, torture, and threats even from American Supreme Court justices. Future justices about if you will say this, or you, you will say that, and so on, and then say, and that it shall be, and uh, what the fuck are you doing inside of that Supreme Court in the first place? If I might ask you a question. It's not Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not, this is not his fault, this, the stuff, this, this here. It's not Donald Trump. This is not Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not guilty for what's happening. That's what worries me. That's the kind of stuff that worries me. It's not Donald Trump that, that worries me. It's the one that makes Donald Trump that worries me more. And then you have to ask yourself, what is the United States of America that plugged, infected, infest, infested European Union countries with some kind of idea about uh, the, right, the freedom of the, uh, of the speech, the right to the freedom of the speech? The right to the freedom of the speech was used, let's see, to take away the right from me to exist. Even that part of right of the freedom of to speech was used to censor my work. Uh, unfortunately, I became so angry that I started to see stuff uh, so disillusioned that only the most disillusioned people see. And it's not necessary that it's the most disillusioned people that see it. I watched the program the other day about some German guy who answered questions for himself, claiming that he was a neo-Nazi. And uh, he answered questions about what it's like to be a neo-Nazi, and he started to suggest about uh, that he would go out there and kill people and so on. Uh, really? Hmm. Uh, I don't think even the Hitler would state something like this. I don't think any Nazi during the World War II would go out there and say, well, you know, it feels good to go out there and kill some people. <laughs> I don't think you would get any person like this. Uh, Germans, uh, neo-Nazi Germans knew during neo-Nazi Germany, they knew very good what is to be mentally ill. They were under no means crazy people in a neo-Nazi Germany. The so-called freedom of speech under which uh, Nazis started to operate, uh, this was the stuff that literally was used, in my case, to silence me. Once I started to, to be ignored and torture did not cease to exist and it was increased torture, I had very little to resort myself to other than hatred. I didn't know if I'm ever going to even resolve this case because nobody wanted to listen to me. And, you know, similarities, similarities between back then, and I am talking about when I started with this stuff in 2010, is impossible for me not to note 14 years later today, now in 2024. It's impossible not to note them. I go to the YouTube channel and you will see one view, two view, three view per video. Uh, blogger, news site, like I have, nobody ever had a news site organized, made like, like I have. They recognized MKUltra cases in Canada and in the United States of America 
by just people saying they were subjected to MK Ultra and they got police assistance. It stopped, they assisted people and so on. So what the fuck is going on with the American Supreme Court and with American Central Intelligence Agency and Federal Bureau investigation in my case? What's happening? Well, obviously that what you are doing is you are obviously that you're doing your best to ignore, neglect, uh, and use my case to, uh, you know, to, 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 uh, you know, to, to overshadow one with other issues as much as possible. And you are actually using the people like Donald Trump who committed this extermination procedure genocide against me, together with also many of your Democrat politicians. as an attempt to shadow me. You know, excuse me, when I say democratic politicians, democratic politicians in America, shit. Excuse me. I mentioned democratic politicians. This is shit in form of human being. They're not interested in justice. You're not interested in any kind of justice or anything like this. You're not interested in helping out, in, in doing things. Stopping these things. You're interested in your own agenda. You're interested in your own financial gains. You're interested in turning me into a dog, into your diarrhea ass liquor. That's what you were interested. You were interested in breaking me down. You were interested in taking my hands from defense down and then smash the fuck out of me, which on several occasions I made a mistake. And I deeply regret one. It was times when I appeared at equal employment opportunity with the claims, with proofs about your minorities committing crime against me. And I somehow backed down, you know. I didn't want them to be jobless for the rest of their life to get, uh, you know, not to find job and stuff like this. They suggested me stuff like this. The people will get them jobless and they will not get the job and you will do this to me and you will do that. This is this is all part of MK Ultra. You're fucking shit. You're not people. You know that? You're fucking shit. I don't have any kind of respect for your politicians whatsoever. We're in Republican or Democratic. You're fucking shit. It goes beyond. It goes beyond AFD. He goes beyond these issues here. He goes beyond this shit. You're just fucking shit. You all are fucking shit. You're all politicians. And you always, you, all of you, you look best for your interest. And those interests involve killing people. You murder people like this. The same way like Stalin did. This is a Stalinism. This is not cancel culture. This is an Orwellian Stalinism is what this is. Corruption. You're actually testing grounds to see just how much damage can be done to somebody in this world, basically. You probably will stop at one point. But that really doesn't matter anymore. To me, it doesn't. I started the video to talk about this issue here, this identical issue. This is why I started the video. I don't think that it's okay to treat, to have the right to treat somebody like this, not to treat somebody like this. This is a pity criminal here. This, this is shit. This is not a human being. This is a pity criminal. But the question is, where did she got this, the ability to do stuff like this? Who gives you the fucking right to do with the people like this? You have to change your constitution. You have to change your bill of rights. You cannot run country like this anymore. You're going to have to make a special, um, you're going to have to add something to it. Uh, you're going to have to...
you're going to have to change this. Maybe you should change this. Maybe you should, uh, you know, maybe you should uh, pronounce one as a kingdom. Maybe you should change one. Maybe you should, maybe you should, uh, you know, maybe you should address the constitution as non-existing and change that into totalitarianism with Donald Trump uh, selected, elected as a king. And I don't think about Joe Biden any, any different. I think he's, I don't know which one of the two is different, uh, should say worse. Because one is bigger criminal than the other. One is a bigger scumbag than the other. There wouldn't be no Donald Trump without Joe Biden. The two also work together with one another 24-7 during MK Ultra. This is a just a necessary evil. I mean, one created another, and, you know, you have to change this. Britain uh, is, um, uh, refer itself as a constitutional uh, uh, monarchy, right? That's the type of justice you should have in your country. A social order is a constitutional monarchy. Um, yeah, it's constitutional. It's it's all right. It's constitutional because if you do the stuff like this abroad, you do this stuff in other countries, uh, and uh, I suppose you don't do this to your British people. Uh, you know, it's constitutional. It's constitutional. I suppose the same goes to the United States of America, even that I became naturalized citizen in 2000. So I suppose it's constitutional. That's why you hijack a person and take one out of the country and you do the stuff like this. And then you elect somebody like Donald Trump. They'll start to make statements that are uh, inflammatory, discriminating against minorities. Uh, and you're going to use one, portray one as a bigot, as a racist. And start to play double sword, double edge sword game. Portray one as uh, somebody who cooperates with uh, Vladimir Putin is doing this kind of stuff. And then if you need for your needs, you can also um, label one as a somebody who is Portray one as somebody that will be trialed, you know? you know? What kind of game the fuck you're doing? If Donald, if Vladimir Putin, if West, I should say, NATO fails to stop Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump will have a great, uh, I should say, Putin will have a great friend. That will be Donald Trump, right? Politically correct, right? Plus, Donald Trump is doing the stuff to give me a lesson, right? He's giving me a lesson about how it shall be and what it shall not be. Something that I started earlier, right? Because I was the one. I'm not hiding this. I was the one who started the question and constitution and made remarks in respect to American society as it was due to my case. I started to believe American constitution was hijacked. I started to believe it was Democrats that hijacked uh, American constitution. And I was the one who started to urge into revolt through NRA. I am not even hiding these issues. I'm not hiding these issues. However, I doubt that American justice system can absolutely in any way compare me with Donald Trump due to what I stated. It was, in fact, American justice system uh, who completely disadvantaged me exercise extermination procedure so that I could start to see myself in NRA. You know, 
I'm not going to be taking lesson from you guys. You're going to have to take lesson from me. You're not going to lesson me about what I said about immigrants and so on. If you don't understand, you need to watch the video which I dedicated the title German or Jew, same as the true. Actually, German, Dutch, Jew, British, whatever, same as the true. You need to watch if you want to, if you want to, if you want to pose next to me and you want to uh, you want to bully me, you want to challenge me, you think you have a counter argument. You need to watch that movie, and I promise you, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look for that document. Maybe even today, I'm gonna demonstrate you what exactly I meant by this when I came to the United States of America in '95, when American Jewish community, through the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, demanded for me to marry Jew, give me ultimatum or be killed. That is unprecedented stuff. I will. I, it's not over in respect to that stuff. This is a state-of-the-art video right here. I'm not gonna the one who's gonna hate. I'm not the one who's gonna hate. Joe America is a term, is a neo-Nazi term that was created to make people hate. If whoever you are out there and you do know what United States of America is, and you truly get to know United States of America, it's when you will learn that United States of America doesn't hurt hate, literally hates nothing more than the truth. This isn't about the Jew here. This is more about the German and British and Dutch than the Jew. Because it's all intertwined, interconnected politic. If you want, if you want compare yourself with me, you know, and you want to um, and you want to make the point about me through your public conduct, which is completely criminal and totally unacceptable. It's calling for a Nazism, um, for which already I suggested that in, inside of the European Union, what the Germans are doing is, is totally, this, this should sound alarm. They should be sued for this type of politics. They should be, it should be the case brought against them. Uh, the European court, it should press charges against existence of alternative for Germany from outside of the Germany. It really should, because truly they set such a... Political agenda, you know, their existence allowed them to actually suggest their existence on a political podium allowed them to state that Ukraine should not be defended, Ukraine should not be liberated, which they have stated with words that Europe should not get into the war with Russia.
NATO, you know, and so on. Whether Russia is going to be taken down completely, I should say entirely, in case there will be such thing, as I described here on this page, where I did point out they even negotiated sabotage on one of the German cities that they would detonate. Even if the Russia is completely taken down in, and if there is a disaster that actually takes place in one of the cities or on one of the city or something that takes place, just one city, this type of politic, the existence, the right for these people to exist, this Orbans here, Yes, Europe will not survive, it will not evolve. Yes. Even this kind of stuff, even, you know, for you to exist, and, you know, it, it guarantees you the future. Even if Russia gets completely, completely taken down, there will be still a struggle within the Europe for the power, for the will of the people, for... What the AFD refer to as evolve, the Europe will not survive if the Europe doesn't evolve. So these people already by making such a statement, and it doesn't matter how the war in Ukraine even is going to, um, how the war in Europe, how the war in Europe is going to develop, will guarantee these people future. So this is this is the um, uh, Germany has placed them, you know, on, on a, such a spot. Um, they have placed them in a, such a spot that uh, it's impossible to destroy them, their legacy. And the one who opened this legacy is United States of America. It's literally United States of America that started to question a constitution, literally through my case. The earlier I mentioned to you about who sponsored the violence, minorities against me, and so on. But here is the answer who. Here is the answer who. That's basically the one who started to doubt the question The Constitution of the United States of America undermined the Constitution of the United States of America with my case. This is what is unprecedented. This is what is, this is what is, uh, you know, Republicans paid for this stuff with the cash. They hired minorities. They hired Democrats. They paid them. The crime, the crime is that the Republican Party was using me to undermine American Constitution, laws, justice, United Nations, and also European democracy, because it took away a must-defense mechanism. That's basically German laws which prohibit engagement of any kind of Nazism in Germany due to German past, especially, yes? And Democrats have accepted this kind of game for the personal financial gain. These are the crimes that I'm charging the American Democratic Party and the American Republican Party, all through the two work together in many cases. Many Democrats were not even Democrats. They were uh, really... Democrats in disguise, in reality Republicans, 
And he also goes, uh, if you like, just to make this kind of bond work and uh, vice versa. So this kind of clusterfuck, this kind of politic is just impossible to define. And I might say, from my perspective, from my point of view, uh, it's totally, totally disturbing to note this stuff from American Supreme Justices, from American courts, from from American justice system. It's disturbing. But I can promise you that I will continue to fight you on every step. On every step of the way, I will not stop. I will not stop with this stuff. It's disturbing to know that you have the same politic, the same type of uh, attitude against me for already 52 years. Maybe this is very, very important to note. And I definitely will not allow anybody to compare his crimes uh, in respect to hate crimes uh, with whatever U.S. government managed to accomplish through such forms of violence against me. I will not allow this. Donald Trump can do, Donald Trump can do all kinds of stupid statements. He can go and he can tell, he can whatever he can, something I have never done it. I might have had stated that I said all kinds of stupid stuff during MK Ultra, but in real life I never did. Oh, for that reason, I also never was charged with any kind of hate crime, other than in Slovenia where they came up with bogus accusations of my attempting to exterminate Slovenian people and Roma people and Jews. This is what the Slovenian state came up with against me. Those are the, the accusations that this is what I'm trying to do. I know nothing about the crimes they committed, nothing about absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic and to continue with extermination procedure under the file which was rewritten as a paranoid file of the paranoid schizophrenic. This is not very nice. You're fucking nobody to tell anybody who he's going to get married with, how he's going to live. Uh, and that classify also as a rape. And another issue that applies to this stuff is uh, you're nobody to go uh, to the country of individual against whom extermination procedure genocide took place so that you can connect yourself with his enemies and build wealth through his enemies, a personal wealth, a personal political power for your state, for your American state, uh, by literally destroying, killing this person. You're fucking nobody. You don't have any kind of credentials. You don't have any kind of special authorization like this from me. The U.S. government gave you this kind of, uh, you know, they gave you this kind of authorization. The U.S. Congress did this stuff. Uh, Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau Investigation, they did entitle you that kind of stuff. Uh, and you're many. You're many, and you're top dogs, you're top officials, you're top state people, you're, you're politicians, you're the top state. But my country, my little, tiny little country say, fuck you, to all of you. It says, fuck you also to the British king over there, to Prince Harry, and to the Prince William, I will not comply. It's amazing the story about how I became a paranoid schizophrenic. It's amazing. Um, you know, my book will be titled How I Became a Paranoid Schizophrenic.
I made the decision on how I am going to title the book. How I became a paranoid schizophrenic. So it will be a big book. It will be a very famous book in which you are going to be the stars. I don't know what kind of impact it's going to make. Maybe it's going to make for worse. Maybe the society is going to become even more rotten. Maybe the society is going to become even more pedophilic, more criminal, uh, more murderous. In my case certainly have proven itself to be little for many countries, with some countries literally disappearing from the map. Uh, but there sure will be something that might contribute to a better world. Uh, and that's why I have refused to, uh, you know, that's the reason why I have refused to uh, charge China uh, with a crime. I have to make sure that China gets a chance, you know. I have to make sure that China gets the chance before there will be some, uh, you know, people who will eventually start to decide about China through uh, literally charging themselves with who said, what said, uh, you know, oh, unbelievable that you would at this stage, at this time, with so many dead people, bring the sub subject about the COVID-19. Uh, the COVID-19 still exists. The COVID-19 always existed. COVID-19 existed way before they officially released existence of one. The negotiations about the COVID-19, just as I explained on my new site, they went all the way to 97, 98, they started to negotiate about COVID-19. They played with the COVID-19 in our house. They were playing with these issues. Maybe the COVID-19 is just a lucky ticket for the China. Who the fuck knows? Maybe China has been offered a, such a great neo-Nazi deal that it can become so useful to them, so lucrative, uh, that they should not miss on one. Maybe this is what they are using me for at this time when it comes to this COVID-19. These are all negotiations, but, you know... Uh, It just goes to show, my talk right now goes to show how deeply implicated in this stuff are United Nations. Because my talk goes on right now about this kind of issue, concern, so sensitive concerning China, because of the silence at United Nations. Uh, very deep, very, very profound issues. They hurt me to the core 52 years. The amount of torture I was subjected to during MK Ultra with American officials, state officials participating in front of the computer, already in front of the computer, the amount of brainwash that went on. Is impossible to describe. On how to view things, what to watch for, so that I would not cause harm and this and that. What at the same time, jumping literally on my grave. Bizarre. It almost makes me feel like, when I start to think about this stuff, like it's impossible to even solve the degree 
with a crime like this. Like it makes me feel like impossible to actually get through and uh, pin this shit down, stop one. But I will get to the bottom of it. I will. I will. Uh, I will stop it. I will get it done. I will. I eventually will go through this stuff, and I will get it done. Uh, and I will do it all by myself. Obviously, that the two thousand friends that she has on the list, and other people that have another two thousand. All these people who participated in this stuff, they weren't there for anything other than their own interests, and. Just like Slovenia, it's obviously other countries that were in the same thing. They were all doing the same thing. Now, I feel I don't need any country anymore to support me in any way. No country ever supported me in absolutely any way. What they supported is a schizophrenia. Because this is not how the life is. This is not what the police does. This is not what people do. This is not... Law, this is nothing. This is completely lawless shit. Barbarism is what this is. This is exactly what this girl have stated me will be. And I will have no life. My life will be erased. It will be erased, deleted. Through complete waste of life. That's exactly what it is. And I am a knowledge in this, in age 52, this stuff. But still, I will not stop. And I still believe I will get through with it. And once I'm going to get through with it, we're going to meet again. And we're going to meet under different terms. And I hope I will get you suffer as much as you make me suffer. You are still young. You still have the opportunity to experience what you have done. There is a great deal of suffering in this world that can catch up with absolutely everybody in this world, including the wealthy people who look for misery. Wealthy people literally look for misery. It's, it's the reason for them, literally the reason to exist. It gives them the reason to exist. It gives them the reason to feel good about it. It's not even about the money anymore. It's not about a satisfaction in life, but it's about the misery. Watching people, how they fall apart, how they die, how they suffer. That's basically where they get the energy from, like Vladimir Putin have demonstrated to us. Russians do now. Now, these days, they do it in Ukraine. But before they did on Balkans and before they did in other parts, in Caucasus, throughout Caucasus and in Syria and so on and so forth. Yeah. But yeah, these are common interests, I get it. Americans did this in Iraq, and they did this in Afghanistan and elsewhere, and so on. It's just a politics, it's just a part of the big politics, I know. I know, I get it. I know. <laughs>